Time to meet the boss. Ladies and gentlemen, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, Episode 12. <laughs> I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life, so I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender gear to me. Bring up to me, and we all win. I have gear, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Your herself has come for you. You'll answer for everything. Oh, here we go. We can get the boss though. We locked it from the other side. The coward. Do you think I am a fool? What? The you didn't want to hear. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Alright. They get annoyed anyways. They got annoyed anyways, so... There we go. Just have a little quick look around, make sure we don't miss anything. That, that bitch is there! Whoa! Guys, we're getting... What? Where the... Chuff did they come from? Arjun! Ah. What's going on? Need to heal, that's what's going on. You, you're weak, and you die, you're the weak. But the world lives by different rules. Where is that Are they just gonna keep coming? Probably not. Strength, oh, we gotta fight them off, unity. right? Yeah. Our faith that keeps us locked together. I don't want to waste it's loads of ammo, guys. He's been struggling for it recently, so be careful here. You are leading our flock astray. They see you as something of an icon. There's this aura of rebellion about you. The attraction of forbidden. It is an of problem but the need. Luckily, we'll dispel it. Why doesn't he speak anymore? What's this E that I keep getting? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'm pressing it, but it's not doing I'll anything. Fair it. enough. And open the door for you. <laughs> Is that all dead? Just gonna open the door. Where are you going, you windbag? There you are. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck oh, this guy's burning. This guy's gotta be cooking. This guy's cooking. <laughs> She, did Yule get taken? Please tell me she didn't get taken. Here you 
down, down. Come here, you. That's our boy coming in hot. Look at the carnage. You went all out here, didn't you? Too right, I did. I had to. Get all of the loot we can. Oh, impressive. So, this is the plan Gul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there. I'll send people to cover your retreat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Aww. The door's giving. Let's give it a shove, Artyom. Poor attempt. You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. The Baron got headshot by Hannah. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Gul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests. And Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, 
and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, He'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Alright, so, we don't want to be sitting in here for too long. Anna, baby, let's have a look what we've got on here. This is like the logbook, I believe, right? Just everything like we've seen, so like, these are all the creatures we've seen, etc, etc. You get the gist, guys. What are you guys thinking of the game so far? Don't forget to share, show the channel some love, guys. I am new to the YouTube and scene, so all support is welcomed. Anything that I can improve on the channel, please leave it in the comments box section, and uh, I'll get right to it. So I am all I want is for your guys to be entertained and uh, for us to keep back and play some god ass, god look, goddamn good games. So let's get right to it. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Okay. What did I miss? It's incredible. You should have seen them dance. Me. Don't you worry. Right. You'll get Thank another God. chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business <laughs> for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. 
I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For, or for, for, worse. for richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something. Please. Don't this cover her. Good. Give her air. Damn. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamandau. When they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. That does not look good, and we do not want to lose Anna. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. We don't want to lose Anna. Oh, I really don't want to lose Anna, man. Today. Let's see what the captain wants. It's not Let's see what the captain wants. Anything down here? Hopefully. Get a nice toast next to the stoke the stoking area. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could kill her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh god. Do you really think it's the same? That sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So, Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. 
So take the rail car. One volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Ara and the people to calm down. Right, let's have a little look around. We get to hit the rail car and one volunteer by the sounds of things to um, go on the journey with us. Can I have a smoke up here? Smoking straight up newspaper. Can't be no good for the lungs. Let's put that out. Got important work to come back to it. Save it, save it. Let's go. Just don't want to miss anything. Anything to find. So, here's the map look. We're getting further, al further along the map. As you can see. I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods. Please. Watch over Anna, and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like wow. this in my life. Wow. Wow. Look at the week graphics, guys. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Holy crap, that's beautiful. The game this is, is absolutely the gorgeous. If anyone has not tried it out already, Metro Exodus in Rans Edition, I think it's been out for a couple of years now, but Let's wow. We'll never get old. Road. Look at the beautiful scenery. This is forward recon. Do you read? I'm just oh. blown away by the scenery. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. This will hold us back. Regardless, the plan stands. We're on the at the dam. How is the general situation there? Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Nothing here, coming. 
Good. Our guys caught your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. What the heck happened to us guys? It sounded like a monster come out of the hill. And the next minute, we're being saved by a bandit woman called Olga. Our friend's been taken, and a deer was sniffing us, and now we're walking up on some mysterious coastline and some swampy looking area. Can we just swim away? No. God damn it. It's not going well for old Artie on me here. Let's venture onwards and find out what we find. Find out what we can, what we can find. Well, let's keep it going, see what we can find up here. Hopefully we don't run into anything. I hear the wolves howling. Oh, damn. That's beautiful. I like that. I like the looks of this bad boy. Looking around, let's check this house out. Let's check over here first. <gasps> Got them spiders. We were in the water, but our light still got still works. <laughs> Good job, it's waterproof. Sure what that says if anyone knows let me know in the comments box section whoa wow that's not good two crossbow bolt bolts I think take everything we can the heck happened there what's he doing in there Looks like this is the way to go. What the heck? Bandit, the territory belongs to brethren of the coast. Get lost or pay with it. You're like, you know, there's death to intruders. So basically, they tell me to keep out. I'm not about keeping out. What's going on down here? The heck? Baby in a tree? I can assassinate this wolf. Chill, chill, chill. Crap. Oh crap. No! Oh no, I've missed again. What's happening? Give me more ammo. Oh, what? I'm trying, I'm trying. Just untie me now. Oh, what the f I'm not untying you now. No way. Need to collect, try collect all my ammo back. God damn it, man. That always happens to me, guys. There's lots of fucking wolves here. Chill. I'll have to leave you, man. Stop, stop, stop them from getting me. You know what I mean? I can't untie you. I can't. I can. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. 
These forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves. The better not might be in there. That decision better not come back on me. Hmm. We'll see. <gasps> not like this. Look at this. This is sketchy. Sketchy as anything. Look at the scenery around us. Look at that beautiful waterfall. Wow. 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 We are I am blown away by this game, guys. I am indeed. What we got here? Have a look. Keep moving this way. Maybe I could have killed that, but I'm just gonna keep it going. I'm just gonna keep it going. A rabbit hole? A rabbit hole. Got like a nice little shack here, guys. And I think that is where I'm going to wrap up episode 12 of Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, guys. If you are enjoying the series so far, don't forget to show the channel some love. Everyone that does watch the videos, thank you so, so much. I love you guys. I've been different content. Make sure you check out the next one and the previous. I'll be sure to see you, hopefully, one more time. Or a hundred more times. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>